Welcome back to vlog number two, guys. Uh, we're going to be looking at the first five days of our gonal shop with our fertility journey today for Audra. Um, and we're going to look back on the first shot and how we were feeling and maybe even some updates from our fertility doctor after we go in about five or six days to our next appointment after the first round of the shots, which will be about five days. Uh, she's going to be getting 75 units of the, sh of the drug per shot uh, for five days straight. And we're going to talk about how we're feeling before, and then we're going to mix the medicine and do the first shot. I'm a little nervous because I've never stabbed somebody before, <laughs> but uh, I think we'll get through it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just to talk about how we're feeling before, uh, I, I think it's definitely a very vulnerable feeling. Uh, just, just a little nervous about, you know, what are the side effects going to be? How are my emotions going to be? Because I'm literally injecting hormones into my body. Uh, so that's always exciting. And just the experience of having multiple shots. Um, I think I'm afraid a little bit of the needle and the pain. Because like Mikey said, um, this is my nurse, unfortunately. <laughs> but I know he'll do a great job. So mostly I'm just, I'm really thankful that God has given me Mikey. Um, I think he's just such an amazing husband. And he's... The perfect person to be fighting this battle with because I don't know how I could do it without him. <laughs> You're too sweet. How are you feeling? I'm nervous, like I said. I've uh, never really been that much of a nurse where I've had to give somebody a shot before, so I'm hoping I don't mess it up. We watched a couple videos, I'm pretty confident, but uh, you know, you never know. We'll have a phone with 911 ready in case things go south. <laughs> <laughs> well, Let's go ahead and show them what we've got. So again, we've got this nice little vial. This is our $400 vial that we're going to be putting this shot of liquid into. Um, and once we've got that liquid in, then we have alcohol pads as well as the shot needle um, combo that Mikey will be using to administer the drug. Uh, but before we do that, Mikey's going to take a break. We're going to wash our hands and get ready and then we'll bring you guys along on this journey. Okay, thanks for watching. How's that? No blood. Congratulations, Nurse Mikey. <laughs> Nurse Mikey. There we go. I can breathe again. <laughs> Thank you, Mikey. Well, uh, just this kind of immediate afterthoughts. Uh, I think I was, as Mikey was getting ready to put the needle in, I started having a panic mode, thinking how we're going to do this, but then he just stepped up, and honestly, I didn't even feel the shot. Just... Just stabbed her. <laughs> it's a little it's a little scary how easy it was. <laughs> um, I'm very hopeful, and I, we prayed right before we administered the shot. We did that off camera um, for privacy purposes, but um, I guess it doesn't go back on. We're just we're so thankful that God has given us opportunity to have this medication, and we just pray that it does its job. And we're we're happy for one, two, three babies, however many. <laughs> um, Thank you for your prayers and following us along, and I will keep you updated with how we're feeling on the day to day after day one through five. And um, thanks for joining this journey with us. Thank you. 
Hello everybody, welcome back to day two of our infertility journey um, as we go through our first round of shots. Um, we're very excited to have you back here to walk alongside us as we continue to go through all the emotions that are involved in trying to start a family. Uh, before we go to the shot, uh, what we want to do is just talk a little bit about how we feel and what the process has been like so far. So let's talk about our symptoms. Um, for me, I honestly have not experienced any symptoms yet. So I, I slept great. I had a nice relaxed day. I got to do some painting in the nursery, uh, which we'll share with you guys um, later on throughout this series. Uh, but honestly, thankfully, I've not had any nausea or anything like that. I've honestly felt great. Um, I'm excited to do a workout this evening um, as well. Um, how about you, Mikey? How have you felt? Well, I had to recover from the feeling of stabbing somebody. It was very heavy, very, very weighed very much on me. But, uh, no, I I felt fine. Just excited to get these five days over with and head back to our doctor and see what's going on. Absolutely. Uh, so, one last question that we wanted to answer today is: What is one thing that you wish somebody who didn't know what it was like to go through infertility knew? Um, and I'll, I'll go ahead and start. So one thing that I wish people knew was how to be supportive in healthy ways. And so many people come around us trying to support us. And I'm so grateful for all these individuals. Um, but I'm hoping that this video series will help give them the tools to support us better. So some of the things that my family members have done uh, that has been really helpful for us is they've gotten us... Um, cute little baby things like uh, pacifiers or like some bids and they are praying over us daily and they share scriptures with us. Um, sharing scriptures has been such a helpful thing. Um, and even like some, somebody like my dad, um, he sends us a scripture to our family chat almost every single day. Um, and that's just such an amazing bond to have um, through this process is that spiritual support. So my piece of advice to people who are trying to support a couple going through infertility is one, just ask them, hey, how can I support you spiritually? How can I support you best? Um, is it okay if I talk about babies in front of you or is that going to hurt you? Just ask people because everybody's a little bit different and we will tell you like, yeah, please don't talk about that in front of me because it crushes me. Or, yes, please, that's fine. It doesn't bother me. I want to be involved. And so asking them, what can I do to support you, is one of the best things that you can do. Anything that you have to add? Um, I think for me, it's, it's just been mind-boggling to see how uh, small of a statement or how small of a joke uh, can have such an impact on somebody going through this. Uh, there have been days where I've had to leave the conversation around work or around even hanging out with family that I've just had to go sit in a room and cry because I don't want to yell at people for talking about their lives and their family and stuff. But, uh, you know, it's, that's their right, and I'm glad that they do, but it just hurts. And I was really shocked that it would hurt me that much. Uh, it started earlier on with Audra than me, and I kind of thought, you know, maybe it's just the hormone. She's being sensitive. How could that hurt her? But it started settling in with me as well, and I kind of was surprised. Um, how impactful something so simple can be. So it's definitely good to um, be aware of what's going on in the lives of people around you. And it, sometimes they don't share. I know for myself, I haven't really been super vocal about this going on until these videos, really. Um, so that's on, our, on us as well. But it's just, I think, crazy how impactful some of that stuff can be. And I think when you're a couple going through this, when people say those jokes and you have to leave the conversation, you almost feel like you're the bad guy. Mm -hmm. um, you feel like I shouldn't be feeling this way or I'm being too harsh on them. Uh, but really, you have to take that time to love yourself because what people don't realize is you are grieving. Mm -hmm. uh, this is actual grief. It's mm -hmm. not just something that you know you can say, oh, get over it. Well, maybe it's not this or well, maybe it's just because you're not trying hard enough or you're trying too hard. Uh, those statements are so hurtful. Uh, rather, what people are looking for is just that positive encouragement of, hey, we're praying for you guys. We love you guys. Is there anything we can do to support you? Any scriptures that you'd like us to share with you? 
those things are more helpful. For sure. Yeah. Anything else? I'm all set. All right. So we'll be jumping forward to day two shot. Um, and thank you for following this journey. And Mikey, you want to go ahead and end? Yeah, perfect. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because that's what you say on YouTube <laughs> uh, to follow our journey along and see where we can take this thing and just uh, be able to provide awareness for what's going on in our lives and maybe even support some other people along the way. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh, it's day three, so we're going to be giving Audra her third shot today. Um, how are you feeling? Uh, I, I think, honestly, in terms of symptoms, thankfully, I've not really had any symptoms. I would say I'm a little bit more anxious or antsy compared to normal, but that also could just be that I'm excited to go through this process. Um, so looking forward to seeing the results on Friday. Definitely. Um, how has the needle been feeling? Is it does it feel like you're being poked? Is it not that bad? Am I a good nurse? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, at, at least for me, when I'm having my shots, I can feel the needle touch my skin, but after the initial touch, I really don't feel anything. I don't feel the medicine being injected. Um, there's no burning sensation or anything like that. It's honestly no different than maybe like a little pin prick, uh, which is something I'm very grateful for because I'm not a fan of needles. But thankfully, I'm just not having to worry about how it feels. Mikey's been doing a great job, and I'm just um, excited to see the results. Definitely. Yeah, I don't need to think you've bruised at all either. It's been pretty, pretty low impact on her, I think. Yeah, no bruising for me, thankfully. There's been some tiny little dots. You can see where the needle went. But other than those little dots, um, thankfully there's not been major bruising. Sounds good. Well, I guess we'll get right to it then. All right. Just stand right down here. There you go. All right, so there you have it, folks. That was the end of day three. Um, you probably saw my face. I always kind of psych myself out thinking that it's going to hurt really, really bad. Um, even when I just said it didn't hurt at all, and of course it didn't hurt. Um, I didn't even know that he had actually given me the shot that time. He didn't even feel the needle touch me. Um, so it's getting better, or I'm just getting better at ignoring the fact that I am getting a shot and getting used to uh, what that feels like. So our, uh, to wrap up this video, we're going to be showing you days one through three, and then we'll have a follow-up video, kind of a part two, uh, to show you the rest of our results as we go back to Charlottesville on Saturday and um, await some hopefully exciting news. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good week.